Okay guys, how you doing? Just got done doing some fishing. Uh, I installed my fish finder and a bunch of other things and I figured I might as well just show it off. So uh, today I wasn't so much worried about fishing today. I, I did get six kokanee, I could have done four more, I got a limit. But you know what, I just wanted to test out my new fish finder, the downriggers and see the things. So let me show you off what that looks like. So here we go. This is my Old Town 120 PDL Sportsman. And uh, as you can see, I got my Hummingbird Fish Finder Helix 5, my downrigger clip right here. I got it from Nirana. I, I'll, I'll make sure I send the link, but it's in, um, you know, custom made handle he made. Uh, I used a three pound weight with a two, um, two beads on top and bottom with a clip to my downrigger clip. I think this is like some of the confusions with ki uh, kayakers and people who use downriggers they forget to do this part because if you do this you can just put them in between like this and it won't come off and keep it on keeps it from hitting the boat of course this is a three pound I got off of Amazon for 22 bucks it's not round I like it because when it you know if it bounces into something it just pops it up so it works out pretty good uh, the Scotty downrigger right here just to release it's pretty self-explanatory you just twist the knob I'm gonna let it down slow so you can see of course it's uh do it by hand like that okay and I'm gonna blow it back because a lot of people are like hey man how stable is that thing dude let me tell you I was all over the place wind blowing and everything and this thing's like super stable and then you just lock it on top right here and as you can see it's super stable so if I even grab the weight go like this make a balance I mean it the whole sure the bar balances a little bit but it ain't gonna come off so works out pretty good uh, this is a Walmart fishing net uh, I added the pole holder handles like this uh, you can get them off eBay for like what uh, 10 bucks or whatever and you can just heat them up and it shrinks to it so I do it with just fishing poles handles so there's that uh, right now I got an Onyx, a light preserver. You have to have an authorized sticker to go on Sammamish. And my Yak Attack Viz light. It's really nice because it can fold all the way down. This all breaks down into a small little thing and just wrap it up. Uh, nothing special paddle, you know, Walmart special kind of thing. I just wanted to get started, guys. So, but what I am really happy about is the wilderness uh, cart that's on the bottom. As you can see, it lines up really good. Uh, I've never had an issue, and it's like makes it super light. I use use Scotty holders right here. You can get the kayak mounts right here. They work really good. Uh, if you want something a little bit more beefy, then go with the other Scotty that has the two prongs. So as you can see right here, they have two on both sides. But I customized this with the ram mount right here for my fish finder, so it goes right to the back of it. And then also uh, this mounts here, so this won't turn whatsoever. So as you can see, this is my setup. It's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, I love Old Town uh, sportsman kayaks. I mean, just Old Town all around. They make some really cool stuff. I didn't want electric one because, I mean, honestly, it kind of takes away. This thing is so stealthy. Works really great, and of course, um, yeah, I got a pocket in here. The thing is, my battery's not even in there. So, uh, quickly flip it over real quick, my bad. Uh, you're probably wondering what I'm powering this thing by. It's being powered by this little itty bitty battery. Right here. Okay. It's a super thing. This thing lasted. It even go down like two percent all day, which is pretty impressive uh, for being out here uh, and doing this all day. So I just put that in there. It's no big deal. I'm gonna disconnect before I put on my uh, suburban. And yes, I do do top loading, so it's a little different than everybody else. Uh, all my wires are ran this way. I use the custom. Different uh, ways to put it in. This, if you see the shiny part, that's the silicone. It works really good for that. 
This is also from, if I take the drive out real quick, hang on. Take this out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Pull this out of the way. Okay. Right here is the mount for the transducer. And this is the wilderness, uh, excuse me. This is the wilderness mount right here. So I wanted it so it was absolutely secured to go through and my transducer is on the bottom. So uh, it's pretty bad at, bad, but let's see, I'll show you. There's my transducer, as you can see, it's way tucked underneath. Uh, and as you can see from the sides of the boat, it's not gonna hit anything. That's why I liked it because there's the stock one there's the custom one. So it's way up in there. It's never rubbed. Everything else rubs around it other than that. So anyways, that's my Sportsman PDL 120. Uh, I like it a lot. I mean, the demo rigger rig's really good. I'm sure I'll make some more custom stuff But for right now. This is like beyond uh, what I love. And uh, yeah, oh, my bad. One more thing, of course. Oops, it's on this side. It's all my kokanee. That's pretty dang good, man. I got a, I got six in there, so pretty awesome. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, anyways, that's my Sportsman PDL. It does go on my top my Suburban. Uh, top loaded, no problem. Uh, I, I put a little dollar uh, padding on the back, so it doesn't slide when I put it on. You know, because when I put it on top, I just take the from the top put it up and then grab the bottom and just slide it right on boop and then it's, it's in anyways you guys have any questions let me know uh but anyways that's my old town sportsman pdl 120 peace